Welcome to the 2017 Golf World Mallet Putters Test. We're here at the superb Four Golf Club Fitting Centre at Killeen Castle in Ireland and we've got three fantastic models to put through their paces. The Odyssey O-Works 2-Ball, the Even Roll ER6 and the TaylorMade Spider Tour Red. So let's get on the greens and find out which one of these beauties rolls it the best. So the, the version one of our putting, of our TrackMan 4 putting system concentrates on ball data only. So the initial launch speed of the ball, how far that ball skids or bounces until it finds a true roll. Um, so that tells us about the quality of the strike of the putt. So how quickly that golf ball is turning over and, and what we call a true roll. Um, we also measure launch direction. We can measure the stimp of the green, which is quite useful for, um, for green reading. We can also measure, measure how much that putt has turned uh, on the green. So. I think in the past you'd have seen uh, a lot of the, the tour players, you know, stick with the very sort of normal uh, answer style shape putters. So your Scotty Cameron's, which would have this, this is just narrow blade type uh, shape. And they believed that that was what was best for them, uh, given what they liked in terms of their eye line. What they're starting to discover now is, though, that, you know, this technology and these, these putters, the way that they're designed to be so stable and the way that you can control the speed consistency on off-center strikes means that they can use this to a big advantage. You know, even a half shot around with a putter these days is all the difference between making, making the cut and not making the cut. So they're engaging and embracing this technology and using it to their advantage on tour. Micro hinge, it's all about the micro hinge. So these are little, little uh, curved pieces of metal that curve over on the face. Um, and not only do they reduce the amount of face friction in terms of the strike, but they also allow for this lovely cushioning and then again, this kind of very quick rolling type of technology of the ball. Um, obviously the two balls iconic in terms of this positioning, so very, very easy to see when it's not lined up square or centred. And then they have a nice big heavy weight here in the back of the um, O-Works model, which helps to uh, high, uh, increase the MOI and keep it from, uh, from as resisting this, as much twisting as possible and off centre hits. So it doesn't really get any more iconic as an alignment aid than the two ball putter, does it? I mean, it burst onto the scene at Dave Pelt's design uh, many years ago. He, of course, coaches Phil Mickelson and it still stands the test of time today. Weirdly, I found it a bit strange when I put it down behind the ball because I've not had one for a while. And you're so used to these new types of mallets, as we have with the other two on test and the more sort of fanged winged designs, that actually it took a little bit of getting used to. But it was nice to have that familiarity behind there. Of course, the big story is the micro hinges. It makes sense to me, you know, a little bit of kind of extra energy into the ball gives you a bit more feel and in theory that's going to get a bit more topspin the ball rolling smoother and the data absolutely reflected that i think of the putts we were doing our testers we were having between 85 and 87 percent of the length of that putt was pure roll now essentially the longer it's rolling pure for the easier it's going to be to judge the distance and the more accurate you can be about your green reading it's rolling along the ground it's going to take the break that you've read in theory that's going to make you a better and more consistent putter when we got it out onto the greens, I struggled a little bit with it, actually. I'm going to be honest. It perhaps wasn't the one that felt the most natural for me. There was more energy getting imparted into the ball off the face. I felt the longer the putt that was, it became a little bit harder to control it. Deadly on the short putts, because all you feel you need to do is just get that putt ahead moving through, and the, those micro hinges are going to get the energy into the ball and just get it nicely tracking towards that hole. A little bit lacking in consistency on the longer putts, but we're really nitpicking here. It's a really good putter and an iconic shape. You know, this is, I've had one, uh, several two balls myself uh, in the past, so I'm not a stranger to them. Um, I found the face really interesting. Uh, that was a, that, that's a really new one I have, that I haven't tried before. Um, the ball seemed to really, really come off the face very well. Um, Again, it's, it's, it's a design that's been around for a while, so somebody who likes putting with these uh, will probably tend to stick with this one. Um, for me, I thought that the best part about this putter was, was definitely the face. 
Well, I love this shape. I mean, it really makes a lot of sense. You know, you have the ball that you're striking and then the two balls behind you keep it all lined up. I mean, you know, the golfers like Patrick Harrington use this putter a lot uh, over the years and won majors with it. Um, I like it a lot, to be fair. I, I don't have a problem with it again. I actually think a simple thing here, like a line down the middle, might, a lot of make it, made, might have made a lot of sense in terms of keeping it more T-shaped and square to target, but I certainly didn't have a problem with the two ball shape. On testing, the least amount of skid from all of our putts on tests for all types of golfer. So it certainly does deliver in terms of getting that ball rolling nice and quickly, but yet not taken away from the fact that as they're metal and it can feel harsh, these didn't at all. In fact, if anything, they felt a lot more, a lot softer than I thought. Yeah, new kid on the block, but old designer. So Gurren Rice has been around for quite some time. He's designing putters for quite a, quite a number of years now. Um, in terms of technology here, um, we have a nice big weight chamber here at the back. So it's a cassette that goes into the back here uh, and it's secured by, by here, which again pushes the MOI, keeps it nice and balanced. Uh, the big thing here, obviously, in terms of the, the, the putter itself is the shape. Very big, iconic mallet putters, great alignment aids down the centre line. And then it's got these new grooves, um, which even roll have, uh, have designed in order to try and reduce skid on the ball. And again, all about the groove and all about the face in terms of this design. to test the even roll actually. Gerin Reif, the designer, has made some pretty big claims about what these grooves on the front do. My initial thought was, why aren't they a little bit wider across the whole of the face? But in fairness, when you're putting, really it's a short stroke, you're going to be hitting the ball somewhere in this range and you're in serious trouble if you're not, frankly. So we got it out onto the test screen and actually I really like it. You look it, put it down and it just looks right. There's a great balance to the putter, the shape, sort of the way it sits, those three lines are absolutely deadly. You can't help but set it down where you want that ball to start. And when we started getting the numbers on the track man, I was really, really impressed by the consistency of speed across the face and the start lines as well. You could hit it kind of all across this area here and you were still getting it aiming at your target and at the speed you wanted. So in terms of delivering consistency, I think it's doing exactly what it says on the tin. I think it's a great putter and this kind of innovation coming into the market can only be good for the consumer and for pushing other manufacturers to go ahead and be more inventive, more innovative and create better putters. This is fantastic and I think it's going to make the market as a whole a better place as well. I didn't, I knew uh, Garen Reif was the person behind it and I've tried, I've had some of his older designs so more or less knew what to expect um, but it, this was the one that I think surprised me the most in terms of certainly the shape. The color is quite unusual, but not off-putting. Um, and what I really liked about this was was how easy it was to align. And I think, for me anyway, um, this was the one that came out in the taste test. Came out for me number one in that I, I could probably pick this putter up right now and just put it straight in the bag without doing anything to it. I love the fact that the uh, the three lines just gave it that sort of very secure straight line into putt. I found it the easiest putt for me to square up actually when I put it down behind the ball. Even though it does sit a little bit back on itself in terms of weight, once you engage it to the front, to the front line and, and hold it there, it does seem to want to stay square very through very much through impact. This this putter really does deliver in terms of keeping things consistent on off centre strikes, and it rated the highest in terms in the testing, uh, especially out on the on the real green where you can test those longer putts just to make sure that stuff is when it's offline on those 20 foot and 25 footers that it does hold itself on target. And I think a lot of it's to do with the fact that the grooves are designed to do that, but also the fact that it's very easy to keep square in alignment. So together, the technologies really delivered in this putter. I mean, obviously the, sh the colour is iconic and certainly the shape is one of those great looking putters. In terms of technology, uh, we've got the, um, the pure roll face that they've designed, um, the TaylorMade have designed. It's an angled um, groove so that it helps to reduce the amount of backspin on the ball and get the ball rolling faster. Um, the big technology obviously is the high MOI story with the, the twin waiting at the back. Um, obviously these are positioned in a certain place which is um, well outside of the front face so it means that the putter is so well balanced in terms of its position uh, when you hit the ball and especially if you hit it off centre uh, that it allows the club head to square up a little bit easier or certainly not to twist as much. So the TaylorMade Spider Tour Red has absolutely burst onto the scene in the last few years. Jason Day last season used it to have the statistically best putting season ever on record. So you've got to stand up and take notice. It's gone in the bag of plenty of players since. Dustin Johnson, John Rahm, Sergio Garcia won the Masters with it. So it's fully deserving of the spot. And it's a great looking putter. I quite like a mallet shape myself. You look down and it's quite traditional for a mallet. I don't mind these two little bits that we've got coming off here because you're kind of used to it. 
The lack of an alignment aid, a little bit strange, but actually I found it pretty easy to line up and get square anyway. And I think these bits actually help guide the stroke a little bit as well in the takeaway. So whereas with some, you're looking for the alignment aid to not only get you facing it square, but help you keep that putter square back and through as well. I actually think the shape of this naturally does that quite well. The soft insert does feel soft, but it's nice. There's enough response there. It's not like it's dead. And I think it probably will be a little bit better on greens that are probably on the quicker side because you're maybe having to impart a little bit more energy into the ball through the stroke yourself rather than with maybe a, a firmer insert or perhaps just a metal head. Generally, in terms of the performance, I found it pretty consistent. It says it's high MOI and it delivers on that. You know, If you're not quite a great striker of the ball and you're missing it across the face a little bit, you're going to get reasonably consistent speed and reasonably consistent distance. You know, It's performing great on tour and from our experiences here on test, I think it's a really, really good putter. They're difficult to get hold of at the moment, but if you can, certainly give it a try and I think you'll be impressed. This was the one I was actually probably most excited about trying with you know, having seen so many of the world's top players going to this. Um, I was really excited to try this and what again in terms of shape it's quite unusual to a traditional putter. Um, I liked the the face is a little bit softer I think compared to the other putters so that maybe it got the ball felt like the ball rolled quite well but I found it a little bit more difficult um, to, to feel the distance I needed to hit the ball. Um, one thing I would probably prefer in this would be some sort of an alignment, alignment help. Uh, again, something I struggle with is, is, is good alignment, so maybe if I had the choice I would probably choose one with, with an alignment aid on this. Very soft off the face. I mean, the face really works in this putter. It really feels soft and smooth as you put. And the, certainly the roll was very nice. The speed control was actually easier than I thought. I thought it might have been a bit jumpy and a bit kind of away uh, as you put it. But in, the in, in theory, it, it didn't. And it kept it very much uh, it sort of in, in, in tune in terms of speed. I did really like the, fa the fact that it felt solid through impact. So all the putts felt very solid, even though the face felt soft and smooth. So there we have it. The Odyssey delivered a fantastically pure roll. The even roll did exactly what it said those variable grooves would do, and the tailor-made was incredibly consistent right across the face. I hope you found this video helpful. Please join us next time.